Theatre Corner and a plaque commemorating the Eden Theatre in Bishop Auckland. Well, I didn't know too much about Bishop Auckland other than that it's south of Durham. Well, I just had coffee in a Weatherspoons pub called the Stanley Jefferson. Does that ring any bells? Well, maybe this will, uh, this will uh, remind you. Stanley Jefferson, a.k.a. Stan Laurel of uh, Laurel and Hardy fame was brought here apparently when he was 14 months old his family moved here and his father was responsible for uh, resurrecting the Eden Theatre and he lived with his family on Prince's Street which I believe is over there can't quite see the sign but above where it says Darlington Building Society Prince's Street his family lived on that street at number 66 and uh, he was christened in a church around the corner, St uh, Peter's Church. I went to school at the, uh, the grammar school, King James Grammar School. He was a boarder there for a while. So uh, Bishop Auckland's got a history that goes back to the Romans and uh, goes all the way through to Stanley Jefferson there, after Stanley Jefferson. I didn't know that. I just found that out this morning. Uh, otherwise, um, I don't know, it's funny, isn't it? Certain towns you're not quite sure what to make of them. Bishop Auckland. I had two people told me that I sh shouldn't come here and two people say they thought it was a lovely place. And um, I see the, the, uh, the, the uh, tourist board are promoting it as uh, Durham's best kept secret. County Durham's best kept secret. Hmm. Maybe it should remain a secret. But then again, I'm just passing through. And, um, I don't know, jury's out, but, uh, didn't do him any harm. Started his whole acting career here at the age of 16 before going off to America and making films. Good on you, Stanley. Right, well, I better check my map for the way forward. Otherwise I'll end up getting lost and that'll be a, another fine mess that I'll get myself into.